million men were killed in the last war. Ten million. Why did they have to let me come back to marry her? Five thousand bucks for a divorce. I can't even raise the door to pay my hotel bill, and she wants five grand. What am I going to do, Lorda? What am I going to do? This is the end. We'll start by fixing your tie. She's kicked me from pillar to post ever since I married her. What does she want, my head on a plate? I've done everything I could for her. And now when the only fighter I've got left is Lucky Nelson, she wants $5,000 for a divorce. <laughs> well, I don't see it. It's funny. I'm not laughing. This means as much to me as it does to you. If she's out of the way, we can get married. Otherwise, I'm just a dame from Newark. I don't like the feeling. Oh, for Pete's sake, Lorna. I'd give my right arm to say Mrs. Moody to you. As soon as I get rid of her, we'll get married. Don't worry. I'll hang on. I've got nothing to do for the next couple of years. Hey, if I had some money, I'd buy you something. I don't know what. Look, if Lucky Nelson wins tonight, I'll take you dancing at the casino. He won't win. How do you know? I don't know, so how do you know? Are you crazy? Nelson hasn't a chance against Sailor Anderson. It's the 20th century, Tom. No more miracles. Yes, I know. I've been off the gold standard for ages. This used to be a gorgeous town. In 1928, New York was hot with money. My mother died in 28. I haven't had a break in years. Carry me back to old Virginia, that's how I feel. I'm down for the count, Lorna. You know what I like about you? You take everything so serious. Come on, get up off the floor. You still look good to me. I need you, Lorna. I need you all the time. I wish I could give you everything you want. Mr. Moody. Don't you knock when you walk in an office? Hi, I forgot if you want out. Well, speak your piece and get out. I just ran over from the gym. What gym? Where Lucky Nelson trains. He just broke his hand. Oh. What? It's a fact. Is Boney over there, my trainer? He's looking after Nelson. Well, you can put me in a bug house right now. Moody's the name, folks. Step right up and wipe your shoes. That Nelson. Well, come on. Let's go to the funeral. I gotta get hold of Roxy Lewis and cancel the match. I don't think it's necessary to cancel, Tom. Oh, you don't? Say, who the devil are you anyway? And who are you to call me Tom? Are we acquainted? Why don't you let me take Nelson's place to Why not? I can take Nelson's place. Did you hear that, Lorna? He wants to fight Sailor Anderson. Him. He's got curls, too. <laughs> Can't you fix it with Roxy Lewis? Can't you do it? Now, look, kid. Go on home before I forget my manners. Then you won't like it, and I won't like it, and Miss Moon here, she won't like it. How do you do, Miss Moon? I need a good manager, Mr. Moody. You used to be tops around town. Everyone says so. I think you can develop me. I can fight. You don't know it, but I can fight. Eight four, what's your step? Why don't you give him this chance, Tom? I don't want you calling me Tom. You're brass, you're fresh, and your hair's too long. In fact, you're an insult to my whole nature. Now go home. Let's get together, Tom. It's safe to walk in the streets anymore. Lunatics on every corner. Maybe you're wasting your time. Look, I've studied Anderson's style for months. I've perfected the exact punch to stop him cold. Have you ever watched him closely? He likes to pull your lead. He hesitates for a second, slips his face away, and he's in. Suppose you catch that second when he hesitates. He's open for the punch. What do you do with his left hook? Avoid it. Ah, I'm waiting for your answer. Look, you idiot. Did you ever hear of Phil Marco? I heard of him. Well, Sailor Anderson put him away in 12 minutes and 10 seconds. Did you ever hear of Eddie Newton, Frisco Samuels, Mike Mason? Did you ever hear of me? No. Who are you? I would honestly like to know. Who are you? My name's Bonaparte. <laughs> That isn't funny. Didn't that name used to get a laugh in school? Now, tell the truth, Bonaparte, didn't it? Call me Joe. And your hair, didn't that used to get a giggle, too? You don't seem as intelligent <laughs> as I thought you were. Oh, stop it, Tom. You can't blame me. I haven't laughed in years. I don't like it. I don't want you to do it. I'm sorry I did that, Tom. We should be together, Tom, not apart. Leave me alone, you're nuts. Doc. You know, it's like a dream. One minute I got a middleweight, and the next minute he's a piece of pulp with a busted mitt. Sort of funny, Mr. Moody, but you see... Funny? I... Get him out of here. I can't stand his sense of humor. I found Roxy, Tom. He's on his way over. Ah, this is the end. I'm off my top with the whole thing. We ought to get together, Tom. What are you doing here? Didn't I park you out in the fresh air? You ought to be ashamed to show your face around here. Well, this is the boy that did it to Nelson. What? Yeah, Nelson was tuning up, sparring with the kid. The next thing he knows, he's flat on the floor with his hand cracked. Why? Well, I... Hold it. Where do you come from, Bonaparte? Here. How old are you? 21, tomorrow. Fight much? Enough. Where? Oh, out of town. 
You take a chance the day you're born. Why stop now? Why? You don't think Roxy Lewis is crazy, do you? He wouldn't use a boy you don't know. Talk him into it. He'd sell his heart not to cancel about. Throw him a bone. Give him 5% of the kid. He wouldn't take five. Give him 10, then. Ah, sweet misery of life. Okay, Bonio, look him over. Come on, kid. Just a second. I want to make a phone call. I think you'll be surprised, Tom. You call me Tom again and I'll break your neck. Hello. Hello, Papa. This is Joe. Look, Papa, I'll be late tonight. Oh, why you must have come home late tonight? I want you to come home on time tonight. I got something. I'm in a rush, Papa. I'll explain tonight. Bye. No, Joe, Joe. A friend of mine stayed out late at night. Two days later, I went to his funeral. Pneumonia. Joe's a young, strong. Pneumonia. What do you say? That's all right to stay out of some time. Young people must have a fling around. But tonight, tonight is a special time. Come on, I'll show you. Tomorrow, Joe's a 21 a year. I got a big surprise I'm going to give him when he come home tonight. Say, a surprise is a surprise an hour later, too. My son, Joe, has got a bigger talent. That's a most wonderful present for his birthday, what I give him tonight. Fine. Fine. Beautiful. Ruggieri. How much if I'm not getting too personal did such a violin cost you? Fifteen hundred dollars. I waited for this a moment in many years. Fifteen hundred dollars? A sum that staggers the mind. My friend, does any boy deserve such a sacrifice? Deserve? Sure, a practice of ten years. He work hard. He get a scholarship in a music institute. And this is a gold medal he get. The best in the city. Could a boy make a living playing this instrument in our competitive civilization today? Why, don't expect it for Joe be millionaire. Millionaires are not necessary. Joe love music. <laughs> music, that's a great to cheer up in the language of all the country. Joe take it as a violin piece of wood, and with the two hands. Hands are so beautiful, so fine. You make a music. <laughs> Bonaparte? No, Siggy, no. No what? No taxi cab. Listen, I'm married for your daughter, ain't I? And when you do this little thing, you do it for her and me together. A cab in two shifts is a big source of profit. Joe takes the night shift. I'm a married man, so you don't expect me to take the night shift. I no expect of a Joe drive a taxi. What's he gonna do? Play the violin ski in the backyard all his life? Siggy! Come to bed, Siggy. Papa, don't talk to him, so he'll come to bed. Women, women, always buzzing around. Women, ah, the less we have to do with women, the better. As Schopenhauer says, much ado about nothing. I'm hungry, but I ain't got the heart to go into the kitchen again. It reminds me how my wife slaves for this dizzy family. A fine future for an intelligent woman. Hey, she's a your wife, but she's also my daughter. And she's a not so intelligent, like you say. Also, you are not so intelligent, too. You can't insult me. I'm too ignorant. <laughs> what do you want? Siggy. Papa, why don't you let Siggy come to bed? I know, stop. Sure, he stops me. He stops me every night. I'm worried. I can't sleep. Why don't you buy Siggy a cab, Papa? You got the cash. It don't have to be a new one. It don't have to be a... Sure, even an old one. The way they recondition nowadays. Now look, you kids, go to bed, will you? Come on, Mr. Carper, one more game. 
Wait a minute. Now, don't tell a lie. How much you got in the bank? I got a million. Now, how much? What's your business how much he's got? Shut up, Duchess. Am I asking for my help? If I want to take you out of the kitchen, is that the gratitude I get? Ah, uh, you and your father, you get my goat. I'm sore. Come to bed, Ziggy. Come to bed. Come to bed. What's so special in bed? It's a conspiracy to put me to bed. I'm warning one thing. If matters go from worse to worse, don't expect me to support this family. I'm warning. Okay, we have a receiver to warning. Go to bed. <laughs> and who asked you to stick in your two cents about secondhand cabs? As long as I'm not going to get it, I'll tell you what I want. A first class job, fresh from the factory. <gasps> You've got some nerve, Ziggy. Next time, I'll break your neck. I'm super disgusted with you. Hey, and with you, I'm super finished. Sit here with this unholy alliance. I sleep alone tonight. Oh. You hit your wife in a private, not in a public. Uh, a man hits his wife, and it's the first step to fascism. What are you talking about, my little prince? I love my wife. And as for you, don't make believe you care. Let me see you help us out first. We want to raise a family. It's a normal instinct. Take your hands off my wife. That's right, Papa. He can hit me any time he likes. And we don't want you interfering in our affairs unless you do it the right way. In the bed, Duchess. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> As all the remark, you must never interfere in the laws of a nature and you'll be happy. Gee, you're up late. Yeah, wait for you, Joe. What's the what? Oh, I had a fight. A uh, boy in the park. Why you fight? That's a long story. I'm tired. Good night, Joe. I was say, Mr. Cobb, tomorrow's your birthday. 21, huh? How you like to be so old, my boy, huh? Papa, do you want to know where I was? Do you want to know the truth? Sure, Joe, you always tell me the truth. I, here, here's my name in the paper. I had a fight, 10 rounds. I got $100. I had a fight? It's no possible. Joe Bonaparte, price fighting. The act of a foolish boy. I don't want to be criticized. Just no true, you sound like a crazy. Price of fighters are not for you. I want to do what I want. Look, I proved it tonight, I'm good. I had a professional fight. I can have some more. But are you a musician, no? Tomorrow's my birthday. I changed my life. Just like that? Just like that. To me, it's a mystery. Where did you learn fighting? Oh, all over the city in the past two years in the gyms. Who could believe it? But your music, what will happen to your music? I take a vacation. The notes won't run away. Papa. Papa, don't hate me for what I did. I love the violin. I love it more than anything else. But I've practiced for 10 years, and where am I? You and Ziggy, everybody I know, the kids I went to school with, all out working, earning real money. Look at Anna. Even she does more around the house than I do. Your way to live is more important than Anna or me. No, Papa. People laugh at me walking down the street with my fiddle case year after year. But you're better than there. Someday you'll be big artists. Someday. Papa, everything moves too quickly. Life goes by 200 miles an hour. And you want me to wait for the future. It might never come. Papa, I want to own things and to give things. Everything you want from breakfast until you turn out the light. I want you to go to concerts every night. Money's the answer. I can get it fighting. No other way. I won't get it playing a violin. Money, money. We got a hearts. We got a souls. We got to take care of them, huh? Joe, listen to me. Do what is in your heart, not in your head. In there is a music. 
violin. It comes out, it sings when you play. Then you're happy. You do what you born for. Other things are fake. A bad dream. When you wake up, it's too late. Papa, I wish I could make you understand. I gotta do what I gotta do. workout at the gym. Borneo says my left jab's getting to be streamlined. That's well, fine. A fighter needs a good left. You ever watch fighters train? I might watch you someday. Tomorrow? Maybe. I work with McCoy tomorrow. He brings out the best in me. Mm. A lot of clippings for a newcomer. Two months and you're ready for a personal scrapbook. Either way, have you read Johnny Myers, Carlos? Yeah, I read it. If that gorgeous curly hair doesn't plop over in his eyes... I said I read it. You don't like my hair? Sure, I like it. Women are fools for curly hair. But in the ring, it's a different story. They'll kid you to death. All right, let them. I'll do as I please. I'm sorry I blew up. You're a tough one to figure out, all right. So are you. Sometimes you're like a little girl in pigtails. Sometimes... Sometimes what? There's something about you so sad. Your eyes, your mouth, even your hands. Don't pick me apart like that. You mean I look like I've been kicked around? Oh, no. I mean... Say, they have concerts in the park every Wednesday night. Will you come with me sometime? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Oh, hello, Joe. What are you doing here? This place is for business. You can't train for your next fight in an office. I did my work at the gym. Oreo said I could go home. This ain't home. I know it ain't. Any objection to my being here? All right, all right. Save some of that fire for the ring. We want you in tip-top shape for the next bout, that's all. You don't have to worry about my condition. You'll find me in the gym tomorrow morning early. Funny kid. Like a firecracker. Yeah, I see trouble ahead unless you handle him with care. I can take care of him. Lorna, darling, we've got the Pittsburgh date and there's the word clinching it. All uh, set. And Buffalo, too. Yes, right? and these are real money bouts. Boys and girls, I'm getting to feel like 1928 again. I can smell the dough all around me. I've got that swimming sensation. <laughs> if you hear a noise, it's my mouth watering. <laughs> Lorna, darling, do you know what I see? I see a penthouse in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, bread. 
Huh? Excuse me, what did you say? Bread. Bread! You hear music? Sure. You hear me say bread? Sure. Where did it come from? You like it? Like it? It's a Ruggieri. <laughs> I buy it for your birthday. Your teacher tell me that's a wonderful witch you dream. Oh, Papa, it costs so much. You shouldn't have done that. Play it, Joe, please. No stop of playing it. How do you like my haircut? It'll grow back. Play it, Joe. <laughs> Joe Bonaparte, hailed three months ago as a new Mickey Walker, endowed with a champ's speed and cleverness, KO'd his first few opponents in short order. Today, he dodges and dances, pulls his punches, and was lucky to get a draw in his last couple of fights. Is Bonaparte another flash in the pan? Brick bat of the week. Fine publicity. The guy is right. Bonaparte used to have a punch like dynamite. Now a mosquito even stings harder. All he does is box, tries to use his head, just a brain thrust. What's wrong with that? I'll tell you in the capsule, the people who pay to see a brain thrust, you could fit into a telephone booth. Roxy Lewis is telling oh, you. Tom, you know Bonaparte's not a slugger. His main value is a science. He's a student. Excuse me, Miss Moon. In the prize ring, the cash customers don't look for students. When I want a student, I'll hire Einstein, a wonderful man in his line. Roxy's right. Not only won't the kid fight like he used to, he ain't even been to the gym in two days. I've stood enough from him. Now, I'm going out of his house and find out what's wrong. Come on, let's go. Service. Joe Bonaparte live here? That's all right. I'd like to see him. Moody's my name. My name is the Joe Bonaparte's father. Oh. Well, we ought to know each other. I'm his manager. Oh, I'm a pleasure to know you. Well, well, we'd like to talk to you for a minute, Mr. Bonaparte. Sure. Come on aside, please. Sit down. Your Joe's a very clever fighter. We want to make your boy famous. A millionaire. But he won't let us, won't cooperate. How do you like that? Huh? Sit down, please. Why? What'd he do? I'll ask you, what does he do that's right? Nothing. We offer him on a gold platter, wine, women, and song to make a figure of speech. We offer him magnitudes. Yeah. Take an apple. You like to have some fruit? No, thanks. Your son won't fight. They fight for you, no? That's right, no. 
Your boy has unexplored possibilities, unexplored. He's trying to say that Joe keeps holding back in the ring. Hold it back? Oh, his defense is brilliant. But... Gorgeous. What about the offense? That's right. Where's the sense to it? He thinks it's wiser to receive than to give. He'll take, but he won't put. Hey, you talk too much. And nobody's a contradict to you. Everybody's a contradict to me, even you, and I never met you before. I don't understand it. Why did Joe not do right? They think he don't punch hard enough. He, he seems shy with his hands. Hands? He could hurt them? Every fighter hurts his hands. Could he get a hurt? Could he break? What's so special about hands? I suppose your kid plays piano. My boys are playing the best of violin in New York. Is this on the level? I had hear, I'd tear it out. 500 fiddlers stand on the corner of Broadway and 48th Street every day, rain or shine, and your boy dares. How do you like it? Joe's afraid of his hands because he fiddles? I don't know. Must be. Moody, do something. Do something. I'll do plenty. Uh, no. No, Joe, no, I can be disturbed when... Say, this is a surprise. What are you fellows doing down here? So, this is the way you waste your time. Never in my nightmares could I imagine such a thing. It's an outrage! For two days, you ain't been to the gym. What's the big idea? Now, just a second. Take it easy. And for weeks now, you've been holding back with your hands, carrying a torch for that violin. You should have seen that bunch of fiddlers on 48th Street. Not a dime in the carload. I don't like you barging into my room. I'll see you both at the office. Now, look here, kid. Let's talk plain. I got a contract with you. And I'd read you to fight, not fiddle. Suppose you bust a hand. What's a busted hand to a fighter? Now, look, we're all in this game for dough. Take some advice from a friend, kid, and throw that ten-cent banjo away. Friend, you act like you own me bag and baggage. Like I'm a bargain you picked up in the basement. Well, I've been thinking I might give up fighting. I'm not convinced it's what I want. No, oh. don't get on your high horse. We're talking for your own good. When we tell you how to fight... If I fight, I fight the way I want. That way you'll be through in no time. Okay, I'll be through. In fact, I'm through right now. Come on, Roxy. I've had enough. I never had any brothers either. No? Joseph got a sister, Mayana. And Siggy, her husband. He's the A number one, a son-in-law. <laughs> Come on, Lona. I hope that Joe's are no angry because you interrupt. He should be angry. My friend, your son is no prize package. You can take my wife for it. Goodbye. Come on, Lona. Looks like they didn't do so good upstairs. Goodbye, Mr. Bonaparte. I would like to talk with you more sometime. You come and see us again. Thanks. Maybe I will drop around. Yeah. Hear Joe play. Goodbye. I'm glad to have met you. What happened in there? You both look ready for the morgue. Lonnie, you can toss me to the hounds. It's all over. Bonaparte just quit. Quit Cole. He says he's not convinced he wants to fight. How do you like it? Yeah, and there goes our last chance of getting married. And my last chance of making some dough to buy that divorce. This is the end. Come on, pick up your chin, little man. Don't brisbane me, Lorna. I'm licked and I'm tired. Find me a mouse hole to crawl in. Do you want Bonaparte to fight? Do I want to see tomorrow? Well, why don't you ask me when you want something? I'll make him fight. How? How? Oh, leave it to me, Tom. I'm a dame from Newark and I know a dozen ways. Let's go somewhere else. Swell. heads of seven million people. Gee, all those cars. 
like fireflies. It's a big city. And little people don't stand a chance. What are you thinking about? You and Mr. Moody? I don't think about it. Why should you? If you were my girl, I wouldn't think about it. Haven't you got a girl, Joe? No. Isn't there anyone you like well enough? Anyone? What have you been doing all your life? I mean, besides playing that violin. I've read every page of the Encyclopedia Britannica. Is that your idea of a good time? No. But, well, I've always felt different. Even my name was special. Bonaparte. And playing the violin. People used to laugh at me. They've hurt my feelings for years. You could get even. Borneo says you could go far in the fight game. Lord, I want to get ahead. I want people to know who I am, but I... You were getting to be somebody. You could make all that your carpet to walk on. You mean by fighting? I thought so, too. No, Lon, I've tried it, and I don't like it. I hate it. A prize fight is an insult to a man's soul. And besides, it might mean the end of my music. I need these for the violin. Feel how cold my hands are. It's a pity you feel that way about it. I used to watch you in the ring, handling yourself, smooth as silk. I'll make a confession. I was proud of you. I saw your future in big electric lights. It's a pity never to see you in action again. It used to be a thrill. Lorna, you're not kidding me, are you? You're like music to me, Lorna. Rich, soft music that goes on in my head and heart for days and nights with a crazy tempo that seems to beat out... Beat out what, Joe? Your name, Lorna. Always Lorna, Lorna. Why don't you fight, Joe? You have to be what you are. Joe, listen, be a fighter. If you made your fame and fortune, you'd be anything you want. Do it. Bang your way to the middle way crown. Buy that car. Give some girl the thing she wants. My nature isn't fighting. All right, then, fiddle away. Why get angry? Moody sent you after me. A decoy. Well, you've wasted your time. You can't talk me into fighting. I'll make up my own mind about that. Point two, I'll tell you something Moody doesn't know. You don't love him. What are you talking about? And there's a lot you don't know about yourself. Forget about me. You're a lot. I said forget it. I thought you knew how to get what you wanted. Well, I made a mistake. I'm going home. I'm tired. I'll get a cab. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to quarrel. Skip it. Lorna. I'll tell you a secret. I don't like you. You're too mixed up inside. You're wasting your time whining that things are wrong. I like men who reach for a slice of fame. I can reach. Where did you learn that? In the cyclopedia? What makes you think you can do that? Taxi. Taxi. So long. You've got plenty of speed, but in the wrong direction. See you in 1960. Maybe you'll be somebody by then. Long before. I'll get what I want. I'll buy that car. Tell your Mr. Moody I'll dazzle the eyes out of his head. Tell him for me he's handling the next world's champ. All aboard! <laughs> See America first, what I mean. Fight your way from coast to coast. Yeah, man! <laughs> I'd like to be on that train. I'd like to fly. Stay on the ground, Duchess. Fly. What for? Who do you know up there? Eagles? <laughs> <laughs> Here, you don't know how to pack. We'll get you a good sweater. 
Thanks, Papa. Success is the word. Need I say more? I'm proud of you, Joe. Come back a champ and bring back enough dough to buy your sister's boyfriend a new cab. <laughs> yes, boys and girls. I am looking in that old crystal ball and I see strange and wonderful events. Yazoo! <laughs> Drunk as a horsefly. <laughs> you can't drive me to the station in this condition. What condition? You're drunk, stupid. Shut your face, foolish. Just because I don't hold in my nerves, she thinks I'm drunk. If you hold in your nerves, you get ulcers. <laughs> Come on, Joe, get your chapeau and let's go. Or don't you want me to drive you down to the station? No. <laughs> my cab's in the garage anyway. <laughs> Take it with you, Joe. You gonna practice sometime. I got no room for it, Papa. Maybe you'd better return it. Look, here's Mr. Carp to say goodbye. Come in, my little prince. I wish you good luck. Thanks. Have a good trip, Joey. I have to do this, Papa. Be careful for your hands. Give me the word, Papa. Give me the word to go ahead. Be careful for your hands. I want you to give me the word. No! No word, no! You want to fight? Okay, you're going to fight. But I'm not going to give you no word, no. That's how you feel? That's how I feel. seen the reception they gave us in Pittsburgh. The newspaper boys were great. One of you? In the past six months, you've done a noble job with that boy. Okay, right, Moody, you're the best partner I've got. Maybe be healthy and successful in our brand new suite. <laughs> we're in the money now. You we're said in it. the money now. I hold the mail to you. Tom, I forgot to tell you, Fuselli phoned you before. Eddie Fuselli? What does that gunman want with me? A chance to talk turkey to you about Joe. Well, if he calls again, tell him nothing doing. Yeah? I'm looking for Joe Bonaparte. I'm his brother-in-law. Well, hello. I'm Lorna Moon. Oh, Joe's told me all about you. This is Mr. Moody. What can we do for you? And Mr. Lewis. For me? You can do nothing. I'm sore. I'm here against my better instinct. Where's Joe? We're expecting him. Have a drink. Thanks. Well, look, could I have a minute of your valuable time? I got my cab outside and I can't wait. Sure. Come on over here. What's up? Joe brought this dough for my father-in-law when he got back to town, but the old man was out. When he saw it, he said he didn't want it. No part of it. Six hundred bucks, enough to choke a horse, and he treats it like so much alfalfa. Why? Listen, I got a father-in-law, nothing as nice to him but slicing philosophical salami across the table. Now, he's worried about this boxing enterprise Joe got into. Personally, I can't see what's so terrible. A boy gets into higher brackets. What's the worry? Well, that's too bad. I'll give Joe the money. He's marvelous. I, I really do. Hello, Eddie. Nice of you to drop in. Have a drink, Eddie. There's too much of a crowd. It makes me depressed. I want to talk business with you. Alone. Borneo, 
Take the gang down to the corner, will you, and uh, buy them around of drinks. Sure, Tom. All right, come on, folks. See you later, Roxy. Bye, Tom. See you later, John. Goodbye, Annie. Bye. How do you like our new place? It's a cheap office. Cheap? What are you talking? It's oriental luxury. You there, with a sense of humor. Get out. Hey, don't give me any of that double talk. Take it easy, Siggy. Hey, meet Eddie Fuselli. Fuselli? Hi, Eddie. So long, folks. Well, the place is empty. What's on your mind besides trouble? You got the certain boy Bonaparte. I like his looks. American born? Right from here. He appeals to me. What's your opinion of this boy? Possibilities. Could he get on top? Well, I can't see that far ahead. I don't read palms. Could I buy a piece? No. Could I? No. I like a good fighter. This your girl? I'm my mother's girl. Ha, ha. That's a hot one. Pretty flowers. You like them? Somebody, we don't know who sent them to us. I like them. I sent them. I always send flowers. You think this is something? You should see what I sent Nick Pelly. He, he's dead, ain't he? To return to our previous discussion, I like to buy a piece of that boy. He's not for sale. In fact, I had a visitation from above. An angel came down and said that there'd be unity in the ownership. I had a visit, too. I was in a bar, and the same angel came down and ate a pretzel. And he says, Eddie Fizzelli, I'd like you to buy a piece. But I can't make any guarantee about the boy. How do you mean it, Tom? Well, I don't know what he'll do in the next six months. Eddie, it's like flapjacks, up and down. You don't know which side next. Ha, uh ha. -huh. That's a good one. You ought to be on the radio. No, it's a fact, Eddie. We've got enough headaches already. He... He's got a father who sits on the kid's head like a boy's nest. You know what I mean, Eddie. Take your hand off. Where is everybody? Let the boy decide. Joe, this is Eddie Fuselli. Oh, I've heard of you. Uh, there's a man around town. With good connections. Wants to buy a piece of you. I'll tell him myself. I'm Italian, too. Italian born, but an American citizen. I like to buy a piece of you. I don't care for no profit. I could turn it back to. You could have my share. But I like a good fighter. I like a good boy who could win the crown. It's up to you, Joe, if he buys in. Some managers can't give you what you need. Don't say that, Eddie. Some managers can't. I'll think about it. Meet me tomorrow for lunch, my hotel. You give me your answer then. Okay by you, Mr. Lewis. Frankly, it's okay with me, but don't think it'll all be honey and cream. The boy's a problem to handle. He's an excitable character with responsibilities, like I told you before. There's a trick you don't know, Roxy. When a bird sits on your head and interferes with the championship, you shoot them off. All kinds of birds. You'll be surprised how fast they fall on the ground. Which is my intention in this syndicate. You're not going to lunch with him tomorrow. No, why not? Because I say so. And another thing. I don't want you flying around that car of yours. Talking to me? Yes, you. You're going to tell me what to do and who to see? You're not letting Fuselli in. I'll do as I please. No one tells me what to do. Will you listen to me? The nerve of that kid talking to me that way. 
How do you like that for gratitude? He leaves us standing here in our brevities. What makes you think you're worthy of gratitude? You don't know how to talk to that boy. Lorna, we're in a bad spot with Joe. He's getting hard to handle just when things are going good for us. Now that gunner wants to muscle in. You gotta help me. How? Go after the boy. You can keep him away from Fuseli. I still ask how. Oh, you know how. Now you're talking. You mean the way I see it on his face? For crying out loud, what are you talking about? You expect me to... Where do you come off to make a remark like that? I, I think I'll go grab myself a 12-cylinder lunch. You're not mad? No. no. I'm not a bad guy, Lorna. All right, I'm crude. Sometimes I'm worried and I'm crude. But we both want that sun to come up and shine on us. Don't we? Yeah. That sounds like the girl I used to know. I see what you mean. You're not mad. No. I'm not mad. I'm glad you're still here. I'm waiting for my car. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Siggy was here before you came. He brought this. Your father sent it back. Haven't you seen him yet? I guess I'd better run right over. Thanks, Lorna. Say, this is the first good look I've had at you in a long time. You haven't changed. Maybe I have. Joe, there are a lot of things I wanted to tell you while we were on the road, but... Well, you acted as if I were poison ivy. Once someone told me to go out and find fame and fortune. It's been taking up all my time. What do you think of your pupil? Joe, where are you going now? Home. Why don't you come along? May I? I'd like to. Papa, you remember Miss Moon, don't you? Hello, Miss Moon. Glad to see you again, Mr. Bonaparte. <laughs> and this is Anna. How do, Miss Moon? Hello. I uh, came down here the day I got back, but you weren't in, and I didn't get a chance to. That's all right. That's all right. Anna, Joe's going to stay for dinner tonight. Sure. I don't think I'd better. Uh, Miss Moon, too. You're going to stay, please, Miss. I'd like to very much. <laughs> Anna, big company tonight, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah. Sit down, Papa. <laughs> Sit down. I want to look at you. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, that's my father. Uh, why did you return the money? I'm glad to see you, Joe. It was such a long time. Don't think I'm not hurt, Papa. My money's yours. I want you to take it. Yeah, we talk about it some other time, huh? Okay. My mistake. Here, Anna. Give it to Siggy. Let him buy that cab. That'll make him happy. Oh, gee! Thanks, Joe. Oh, that's... Oh. oh, but now Siggy won't have anything to be sore about. <laughs> <laughs> How are things around here? You tell me. You happy? Happy? Sure. 
You tell me, Miss Moon. He's enjoy life, he's a happy. Well, I, I guess he is. I guess he's got what he wants. I'm glad. You both say so, I'm glad. Well, oh, Anna, go ask Mr. Carper for dinner, sure. too. Sure. <laughs> it's going to be a big celebration, huh? Uh, I like to have a lot of money. Oh, Bill? Have a coffee. Have oh, a lot of money. Oh, no, thanks. I couldn't. I've never eaten so much in all my life. Uh, you know eating now. My friend. And I mean you too, Bonaparte. <laughs> First, I want to take this occasion to thank Joe for his contribution to the oppressed end of the family. That's me. <laughs> and when I buy this new cab, I'm going to take you all for a ride, free of charge. And now, from the bottom of my heart, I wish you all a very happy new year. <laughs> Good speech. Eddie, you're right. Happy new year in May. Sit down, Siggy, before you make another speech. Twelve in one night is enough. Uh, speech, speech. Nowadays, where have we got freedom of speech? Ah, uh, it's a free country. You can talk. I talk. Even him. Look how much he talks. Uh, it's a delusion. America itself is a mirage. And Europe. Every time I read what goes on in the papers, I feel so bad I have to close my shop and go see a double feature. <laughs> Well, everybody, to have enough to eat, yeah, right. 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 let's go in the other room. All right. All right. Good. Oh, Miss Moon, Moon, are you sure you're not hungry? Oh, no. no. Oh, huh? I've eaten Beauty so much. Beauty first, Miss Moon. Thank you. Oh, oh dear, on, I think I've had too much. Oh, Miss Moon. Huh? Look, <laughs> how do you like Joe? Oh. Huh? oh. What are you trying to do, embarrass me? <laughs> that was his first violin. You're a lovely kid. I would like to have known you then. Oh, look, here's another one when he was one year old. No, not that one. That one's sent. Here. No, no. Ah! no give me that. Here, here. Give me that. Here. Anna. Here. Ah! Joe. Anna. Give me that picture. Here, here. Joe, no, no, no. Ah. Ah. Anna. Joe, be careful. Oh, I've got it. No, you didn't. No, 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 no. That's enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. He's afraid of the naked truth. <laughs> All right, how about some music, huh? Sure. Miss yeah, Moon, music. you like yes. to sing, Miss Moon? Sure. Good. Come on, oh, sit right. on the piano. Right. Come on, everybody. Sure. You sit there, Mr. Carroll. All right, all right. <laughs> what do you like? You know what I like? Funiculi. 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 Stasera Nina mia io son montato, te lo dirò, te lo dirò. Con l'auto ben dispetti ancora in grado, più farne un po', più farne un po'. Con la concentri il fuoco ma se fuggi, te la si sta. Everybody, te la si sta. So I don't just throw cheese. I need one girl. I need one girl. Lesti, lesti, viamo tanzola. Lesti, lesti, viamo tanzola. Funicoli, funicola, funicoli, funicola. Viamo tanzola, funicoli, funicola. No, 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 no. Leg my lawn. He's doing fine. Now, no, what are we going to do? What? Miss Moon, how you like to hear Joe play violin, huh? I'd love to. Oh, no, don't start that now, Papa. I don't want to play. It's a good time for playing. And Miss Moon must hear. No, Papa. No. Go on. Play for him, Joey. Please, no. You shouldn't do this. <laughs> Here, Joe. I haven't touched it for months. Go on, Joe. Please, Joey. Come on, Anna. Come on, everybody, come on, sit down. It's a big concert by Joe Bonaparte violin. What shall I play? Uh, play uh, Paganini variations. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Why, well, you played beautiful eight months ago. Eight months is a lifetime. 
All right, play Brahms' Cradle Song. I'll try. He'd have played that when he was uh, 12 years old. Mm -hmm. the use. But you haven't played in so long. Double notes is a difficulty, the needs of practice. It was wonderful, Joe. Joe, don't worry. Play some... I'm not worried, Papa. Music and fighting just don't mix, that's all. We've got to go now. Come on, Lorna. We had a swell time, Papa. Good night. Joe, stay longer. Good night, Papa. Goodbye, Mr. Bonaparte. Miss Moon, you sweet, gentle girl. You friend of my son. He's got a big trouble in his heart. He's a musician. He's no prize of fire. I ask you, look out for him. Help him find what's right. I'll try. the luckiest boy I've ever known. What do you mean? What a home. What a family you have. I've never seen such happy people. I've never been so happy in all my life. And your father, he's wonderful. The way he looked at you when you picked up that violin. Joe, I was wrong about you. How? I made a mistake, Joe. Watching you become a fighter taught me something. I've seen you get hard-shelled and tough. You shouldn't be in the ring, Joe. You belong in your home with your violin. Say, that's funny. Coming from you. I know. Oh, Joe, do you remember the night you spoke of music and what it meant to you? You knew what was right then, how people should live. Joe, maybe you ought to give up fighting give up fighting. You were the girl that liked champions. You were the girl that... Stop it, Joe. Don't try to get even with me. Well, I've made up my mind to win the middleweight crown. But your heart's in music, Joe. You know that. I can't play anymore. I've got the hands of a fighter. No. They've been soaked in brine for a year and they're tough as nails. No. They're good for only one thing now. Slugging. Slugging my way to the title. Oh, no. No, Joe. You've got money now. You can afford to practice for months, years. Your hands can get right again. Oh, you've got to try. You've got to. No, not now. Then when? After I'm champ. First, I'm going to finish what I started. I'm on my way. I can get Fuseli to help me. Joe, do you know what you're saying? If you get mixed up with Fuseli, it's the end of you. You're trembling. What is it? Joe, listen. 
I'll tell you the truth. Moody asked me to keep you away from Fuseli. Now I'm here to beg you. But not for Moody's sake, it's for yours. Fuseli's a gangster. You'll find yourself getting dirty inside. Before you know it, he'll put a gun in your hands. Oh, don't do that to me. No, that doesn't mean that much to you. Say you won't tie up with Fuseli. Promise me. I don't need Fuseli. I don't need anything but you, Lorna. You're real to me, the way music was real. Why don't you belong to me? Oh, don't you? Why not, Lorna? Why? Tom loves me. I love you. Oh, Lorna, why can't you leave him? What has he ever done for you? Would you like to know? He loved me in a world of enemies, and I loved him for that. He picked me up and jacked this hotel on 39th Street. I was nine weeks behind in the rent. Oh, I hadn't hit the gutter yet, but I was near. He washed my face and combed my hair. He stiffened the space between my shoulder blades. Misery reached out to misery. And now you're dead. If I am, I don't mind. I'm tired. All I want is peace and quiet, not love. Once I was in love and took a terrible beating. I don't want it again. I want you to stop it. Don't devil me, Joe. Let me alone. <laughs> Well, I'll tell Moody. No, no, not, not yet. When? Swiftly. Everything's easy when you do it swiftly. I'll tell him. Tomorrow. Gee, it's the beginning of a wonderful new life. A man and his girl. A girl who shares your home. I'll share your home, Joe. A home somewhere far away. Lorna! Honey, I've got terrific news. At last we can get married. I spoke to my beloved wife last night. She's begun to run around with a retired brewer, and now she wants the divorce. She's going to read. Oh. oh, watch out, my hair. Oh, that isn't all. I signed a fight with Harrison today. They meet six weeks from tonight. That's nice. You know, a Harrison win clinches everything. And then you and I, Lorna, baby, we're set. What do you think of that? You draw beautiful pictures. Well, you're not very gay about it. What goes on? You still want to marry me. Tell the truth, love doesn't last. What's got into you, Lorna? trying to tell you how cynical I am. Honest, you're so dumb. Love lasts, if you want it to. I want it to last. I need it to last. Why am I struggling to make a living if not for you and a home? I don't kid myself. Don't say that to me, Tom. Why not? Why, in no time we'll be standing in front of the preacher. I'm leaving you, Tom. What? It has to end. What has to end? Everything. Lorna, I don't like a joke that pushes the blood out of my feet. I'm not joking, Tom. No, Lorna, no. Please give me a break. All the things I've planned. I'm not a kid any longer. Lorna, I don't deserve this. Lorna! First time I saw you two that was going on. What is this? One long duet? I got news for you. You meet Harrison in Rochester six weeks from today. I said you meet Harrison in Rochester six weeks. I heard you. Well, answer me then. Rochester. I'm sick and tired of fighting on the road. Why can't you get me a fight in the garden? I don't need you to tell me how to run my business. I'll book the matches. Yeah, and I'll be fighting in tank towns until I'm 50. I 
I'm disappointed, Joe. I thought you were coming to see me this morning. We were going to discuss certain matters. He's got nothing to discuss with you, Fuselli. He's not talking to you. How do you like it, Tom? Big bills or little bills? Don't think you're buying in. Take big bills. They know. They feel good. Joe, tell him you don't want him. I can do you a great deal of good. Well, he don't need you. He's got the best manager in this town. You are a funny man. String with me and it's a shortcut to the crown. Can you get me a fight in the garden? Joe! I spoke to the garden. They said he wasn't ready. This is Fuselli. Let me talk to Moran personally. Hello, Moran. Fuselli. How are you? Say, I'm interested in a great boy, Joe Bonaparte. I'd like you to use him for an important bout. You will do yourself a personal favor and get my appreciation. Thanks. How long will it take? I'm in you? shape now. Anytime, Moran. That's okay. I'll drop around and get the contracts. Who you talk to, Tom? The office boy? In five weeks, does it suit you? Down to the ground. Joe, you know why they do him favors. Don't lose your head. You promised me that... Look, in a half a minute, I got a fight in the garden. Something I've wanted for a year. I'm through with the small time. Don't worry about me. You want to buy in? You're in. From now on, he runs things. Your insolence is gorgeous, but this is the end. For a cheap little fighter, you've Don't got... talk so quick, though. But I wouldn't take this guff from the president himself. Cut me up in little pieces, baby. You could baby. get cut up in little pieces. You want to manage this boy? Help yourself. Do it. Give me 20,000, let me out. 10, I'll take 10. I got my girl. I don't need crowns or jewels. I'll take my girl, that's all I want. What girl? I'm not on speaking terms with you. Well? It would be funny if your arms got broke. Wait a minute. Lorna loves me, and I love her. Crazy as a bat. Tell him. I love Tom. Tell him what? I was a fool to get sore. Kid is a nut. I don't like no one to laugh at that boy. You call a boy like that a nut? An educated boy? When you do it in front of me, I say, Tom, don't like himself. As for your resignation, I buy you out when I'm ready. Right now, I got use for you as my assistant. Do your business, Tom. That goes for you, too. No tricks, Miss Moon. Listen, boys, the chocolate drop is a tough customer. This ain't no setup we're meeting Saturday. Don't make no difference to Bonaparte who he fights. Hold on a second, Mr. Pizzelli. How about the chocolate uppercut, Bonaparte? Uppercut? Joe will chop him to pieces. Yeah, I'll make mincemeat out of it. How does Bonaparte expect to win Saturday? With a KO? That's what we expect. Sure, that's what we expect. Can you name the round? Which round would you like? You're either a genius or an idiot. Come on into the bar, boys. I'm making extra special rum collins. You make 20 drinks, you won't change my mind about uh, it. Come on, come on. I got a sweet uh, bar. You ought to see it. It's a sweet bar. Well, I could use a drink about now. Say, Tom, how's that beautiful gal of yours? Oh, she's fine. Well, when are the wedding bells going to ring? In about a month. Boy, that's swell. That Drake fella's a case. So they're getting married. Moody? I guess so. Those writers hate me. When did Moody get his divorce? A few weeks ago. Why don't you forget Lorna? What? I'll say it again. Why not forget her? Joe, your heart ain't in fighting. Your hate is. And that's no good. Why don't you find somebody else to love? Or am I buttoned in? I won't be unhappy if you mind your own business. Okay. 
I'm sorry I said that. Okay. I uh, thought Eddie was here. Well, he isn't. Funny seeing you without him. Like seeing the shadow without the man. I heard you're getting married. Did you? Looking for the scissors. Who are you cutting up today? Congratulations. Thanks. When I speak to you, look at me. What would you like to say? Marry anyone you like. Thanks for permission. You haven't spoken to me for weeks. Why break your silence? Moody's right for you. Perfect. The mating of zero and zero. I'm not sorry to marry Tom. That's from the etiquette book. Page 12. When you marry a man, say you like it. What do you want from me? Revenge? Sorry. We're all out of revenge today. You must have gotten a pretty kick when you tossed me out of the window. The fastest double cross of all time. Yes, I tossed you out of the window. But not when I gave you up for Moody. I did it when I walked into your life and made you fight. That's when I did it. But I learned my mistake, and I begged you to turn around and go back. I begged you to stay away from Fuselli. And what did you do? The second he put a piece of bait on the hook, you snapped at it. You forgot your promise and took the easy way out. And look at you now. A bad imitation of your gangster friend. You're not the boy I cared about. The boy who loved music so much, he... You murdered him. I don't know you. Listen to who's talking. The queen of the two-timers. So you don't believe me? Well, I've told you the truth. What more can I do? Mary Moody. Is Joe inside? Key part of his sight. They told me you ran away suddenly. I took a chance you might be here. What is your attitude about Moody? I was thinking maybe he should submit his resignation. I'll pay him for his share, how much he wants. It's worth it not to have him around, okay? I got something for you. You like that color? Thanks. What's the matter? Why? Do you see a crowd around here? No. That's right, you don't, but I do. I see a crowd of fusillies all around me, suffocating me, burying me in good times and silk shirts. You want to see a musical tonight? I got tickets. Charlie, Fuseli is speaking. I'm giving seven to five on Bonaparte. Four thousand, yeah. It's gonna be a good fight. How do you know? I know Bonaparte. I got a lot of money spread out on him. Suppose Bonaparte loses. I look at the proposition from all sides. I know he'll win. What do you think I am, a machine? Maybe I'm lonely, maybe I... What do you want to do? Walk in a parade? Get the money and you won't be so lonely. I want some personal life. I give Bonaparte a good personal life. I got loyalty to his cause. You use me like a gun. 
Your loyalty's to keep me oiled and polished. Before I stepped in, Bonaparte was a rookie with a two-pant suit. I got him important bouts in the garden. And now, after five months, he fights the contender for the crown. He walks down the street respected. They howl their heads off when Bonaparte steps in the ring, and I done it for him. There are other things. There's no other things. Don't think so much. It could make you very sick. You owe me a lot. I don't like you to forget. You better be on your toes when you step in that ring. Your loyalty makes me shiver. Take the shirts. Before the fight, it makes me. Hello, Papa. Hello, Joe. What are you doing here? I'm coming to see you fight. Hey, sweetheart, how about giving me a chance to. Shut up, I'm not talking to you. Hello, Joe. I just dropped in to tell you a piece of good news for me. I just got rid of you completely. My bandages don't feel right. You know, I'm indebted to you. Your pal Fusilli just paid me plenty for my share. Skip it, Tom. You picked the wrong time. Pepper White! Pepper White! Ready, Pepper White! Now I got one wish. For the chocolate drop to give you a shellacking. I want to see you hanging on the ropes with your eyes popping out of your head. You gotta be taught a lesson. And tonight. I said skip it, Tom. That's no way to talk to him before the fight. Borneo is right. I gotta protect my interest. Ten percent is ten percent. Get them out of here. Get them out of here! Don't disappoint me, Joe. When you hit the canvas tonight, hit it with a loud bang. <laughs> yeah, do it for me too, honey bunch. If you bounce out of the ring, your old man can catch you. <laughs> hey, Joe, save your hand. What's the matter? Cowboys and Indians? Out. I paid you off. If I see you here again, I'll know you don't feel like living. Who is this? That's my father. I bought Moody out. I heard. I'm worried about your mental condition. Too much company. I'll take care of myself. I'll do it. I don't want visitors. I don't want anyone around here. Borneo, I put 200 bucks on Bonaparte's nose for you. It's my appreciation to you. Tell me if you want something. Nothing. Forget that Miss Moon. Go out there and kill the drop. Send him to the cemetery. Tear his skull off, as I know Bonaparte can do it. I bet a lot of money on you tonight. You're a smart boy. You mustn't lose. How is Anna, Papa? Fine. And Siggy? He's watching a fight. You look fine. Feel good. Why did you come here? You sit there like my conscience. Papa, I have to fight. No matter what you think, this is my profession. Yes, I understand. Go out and watch the fight. Please, I... I, I go. Now I know. Is it too late for music and I see it? I give you the word to fight. I'm sorry for you. You better leave now, Mr. Bonaparte. I hope you win every fight, Joe. Lay down, Joe. There's a minute left to tune you up.
I never worried less about a boy in my life. You're a real sweetheart. You're getting good, boy. I've seen it happen before. Seems to happen sudden and the fighter gets good. <laughs> He gets easy and graceful. Learns how to save himself. No energy wasted. He slips and he slides. Travels with a punch. Oh, sure. I like the way you're shaping up. What was you saying about the chocolates trick? He needs a straight punch. Now I'm alone. They're all against me. Moody, Fuseli, and her. I'll show them all. Bonaparte, ready. Bonaparte, ready. Nobody. Nothing stands in my way. Leave, darling. What? Well, and miss the rest of it? Wow. 
Who's winning? Well, that's a difference. Who's the winner? It's a terrible to see. He's saying now. Take it easy. What's the matter? Broke? Yeah, it's broke. No wonder it's broke, darling. How you gave it to him, not to my enemies. A left hook and a right cross, with no trimmings or apologies. Who's got Bonaparte's glove? Here, yeah, why? What's the matter, Drisk? Chocolate's a sick boy. What? What happened? It looks like the pride of Harlem is out for good. Hey, take it easy. What do you mean? Just what I said. Out. Your hands are clean. You didn't foul him. You're a clean fighter. If something happened, it's an accident. That's right. There's nothing to worry about. That's right. Gee. Come on. You, you murdered my father. He's dead. You killed him. Just a minute. He's dead, I tell you. Chocolate's dead. I'm very sorry about it. Now pull yourself together. You ought to be strung up for it, you. Get out of here. He should, I tell you, he should. Get out before I slug your teeth apart. Eddie, don't hit him. Let him alone. Come on, get out of here. Get him out of here, Roxy. Come on. Come on. Papa, please go home. I'll be all right. Go home, please. Come on, Joe. Get into your clothes. The boys are too late. They better send for the coroner instead. Yeah, that's too bad. What is it? What's happened? Haven't you heard? Bonaparte killed the chocolate drop in the fight. What? Joe killed the chocolate. Come on, Lonnie, come on. Oh, Tom. Tom, I've got to see him. What for? I've got to see him. But they're waiting for us at the Paradise Club. Well, think how he feels. Think what he's going through. What do you care what he's going through? I do care, Tom. I couldn't leave him alone now. You like that boy, don't you? I love him, Tom.
guy with those sleepy little eyes. Outside, Miss Moon. This ain't no cocktail lounge. I'll stay here. Joe. I'll be back, Joe. Gee, that poor boy. But it wasn't your fault. You didn't mean it. That's right. I didn't mean it. I wouldn't want to do that, would I, Lana? Everybody knows I wouldn't want to kill a man. You know it. Of course. But I did it. That's the thing. I did it. Lorna, my father was here. He heard it himself. I murdered a man. No, Joe, no. You don't know what you're saying. I murdered a man. Joe, where are you going? I don't know. Some place where I don't have to think. Joe, I'm coming with you. No, no, I've got to be alone. Joe! Please. Chalky. Don't you think you could leave us alone, please? Looking at you, don't make it no easy. I know. If I could only do something. Tell me what to do. I'll do anything. You can't do nothing now. I'd give my life to bring him back to me. My life. It isn't worth anything. That's wrong, son. I'm much older than any of y'all. And I ain't no stranger to trouble. We's all just little people with a burden, every one of us. You got one, too. And you got the cab. Don't try to run away from it. You tell me this? You, his father? I was just speaking to him. Take it easy, Joe. I said take it easy, Joe. What's the matter? Here's your share. How does it look? Like blood. Come on, come on. Don't be a schoolgirl. You killed them fair. Nobody blames you. Tonight you feel bad, tomorrow you get over it. I'm a cheap addition of you, Fuseli. But tonight's the end. I'm quitting. Maybe you change your mind. I already set the date for the championship fight. Your guarantee is $65,000. Should I repeat the figure? Sixty-five. You're wasting your time. I don't want it. I'll never put on a glove again. You're hysterical. I don't like it in a fighter. I don't care what you like. I'm through with you and I'm through with fighting. You don't quit so fast when I can make big money. When I start something, I do the finishing. Your job is done. You've made a killer out of me. I said I had plans for your future. I don't like to change them. I killed that poor kid for no reason at all. I wish I'd murdered a rotten gutter rat like you instead. When you talk like that to me, it's goodbye. You have no guts, no heart, nothing. I'm sorry I wasted my time. The golden boy. I cross you off my list. Let me put this on. It's cold. Be glad you're rid of him. You're free.
Come on, we'll go the other way. I can see him lying there. Come, Joe. Norna. Joe, listen to me. I love you. We need each other. We belong together. I have nothing to give you anymore. I wanted to conquer the world, but instead I smashed myself. I'm lost, Lorna. No, darling, you're not. Now you can go back to yourself, to your music. With this, a great violinist with a broken hand. Your hand will heal, and you'll play again. You must. Nothing can stop you when you do what's in your heart. We have each other, Joe. We'll find a way. Oh, don't you see, darling? This is the beginning of a new life for you and me. What do you say, Joe? Papa. I've come home.